Welcome back, Best Uni Crew. It's your girl. So, today I came on and I want to try to do the water shaking tray. The shake tray method everybody been doing. And I'm um, going to use this metal tray, which comes from Dollar Tree. I had it for a while because a friend sent it to me. Miss Stephanie sent it to me. So, thank you, Stephanie. I'm also going to be trying to use the laminating paper. I'm going to use the laminating paper for my image. And I am going to also be using Avery shipping labels for my image. I'm also going to be using clear film, which I got from Hobby Lobby like a while back. And I think I got it for like $1.99. Oh, my camera looks so good. Like one ninety nine. This is what it looks like. I don't know if this is going to work, y'all. I'm going to just wing it and try it. I watched a couple videos. And I will link their channel down below if you want to go check them out also. This right here is a, uh Easy Liner, Shelf Liner brand paper. You can buy from Walmart at the kitchen section, which is just like a transfer tape. This is what I use for... My vinyl and everything, my transfer tape. I'm sorry. Yeah. So this right here. Okay. So first thing first, I already cut everything. First thing I cut was uh, this here in the shape of the center, and I'm going to use it to tape off the inside of my plate so I can spray paint the outside because I don't want to waste a lot of spray paint uh, spray paint it like you know whatever so I'm going to take the back of the paper off put the tape down in here and spray paint okay so the measurements for the shape would be nine point lower or not 9.5, 9.95 width and 6.4 height. That's for my shape, my oval. And what I do to achieve that shape, some of y'all can go back and watch my video I did with a rolling tray of the oval shape. All I did was took a picture of the tray, sliced it, but you can just get a circle and, you know, make it the size of the, shape, uh, the tray, the inside of the tray. So... Need to clean it too. I didn't clean mine. I thought I had some alcohol pads. I got some alcohol pads. My mom was in the hospital this week, so I got a few of alcohol pads. And I'm going to um, take the inside of that and I'm going to clean it. Get some of the dirt and you know, all that good stuff. So my fingerprints, the paint can get on there good too. And I'm not gonna paint the bottom of the tray. I usually don't, but sometimes I do. I'm just gonna paint the inside, outside, whatever you wanna call it. So we got that part out of the way. We just cleaned the tray. So all we're going to do now is take our clear laminate paper. Well, the chef line paper. And, um, take the backing off. Okay. 
Okay. Hopefully the tape don't come up and let no paint get in there, but if it do, it is fine because, like I said, we're just going to cover it just for a weekend uh, paint. That's all I want, for real. Just the baby spray paint. So that's why I covered the inside. So now I'm just going to do the other steps before I go ahead and paint. So, yeah, let's get started with that. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and do my other steps because I done had the seat press on for a while. Okay? I printed my image off using my sublimation printer, which is the Epson Eco Tank 2720. I got it from Walmart for no more than like $199. The sublimation paper, you can buy it off Amazon. It looks like this. You can get it on Amazon. I can leave a link down below. So... I got the image of my choice printed out on sublimation paper. I also have a laminating sheet, which is the paper I showed y'all in the red pack, which is a thermal laminating paper. And I cut it in that oversize. The um, shape for this again is 9.95 width. And then the height is 6.4. Then I'm going to be using shipping labels. You get that from Walmart for like $4, 4 or $5. So what I'm going to do is, I also got some butcher paper. My mama glory got me. I'm almost out of it. Somebody buy me some more. It's coming handy. It's real big. Let me take a little piece of that off. What I'm going to do is cut my circle shape off the paper with some scissors. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this first is I'm going to lay my shipping label down, which is the Avery shipping paper. I'm going to take my laminated paper, and I'm going to take this rough looking side and lay it down on top of it. And get my butcher paper, cover it, and press. And the only reason why I'm doing mines like this is because sublimation paper makes uh sublimation ink makes stuff very vibrant and pretty and i'm using the laminating paper for a sealer of my image for when i do do the resin method and we shall see how this turn out okay so i pressed my laminating paper down for like at least 20 seconds and i let it cool to the side so now i'm just gonna get my image I want to place it on top of there. Some more laminate paper, some straight paper. And um, <clears throat> it's not gonna be perfect, but I do want to make sure I get that shape on the right side where it's supposed to go. I'm just going to lay it down and pray for the best. Put my paper down. I'm just praying y'all because I can't really see it and think that part through real good. But we're just going to press. And I'm going to press that for 60 seconds, y'all. So I'm going to press that for 60 seconds and I'm going to come back. Awesome. It looks awesome. So, this is what it's looking like. I'm going to let it cool, and then we're going to come back. Okay, guys. So, on my side, the spray paint. I got this spray paint here, and I'm going to try to use that on here. I probably should have spray painted white first. So, we got to paint it white first. So 
Yeah, we're gonna let that dry. And that, I'm just gonna spray the green. I ain't trying to make it perfect for real, to be honest with you. Like I said, I'm doing this as a test run. Just to see can I do whatever that shaking thing is. So yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. We're going to leave this out here to dry and we'll come back. Okay, guys. Um, Another thing I was thinking. Now, I don't know if it's going to work. Just saying. Just thinking. So I cut out. Well, I ain't cut out nothing yet. I got me like a whole bunch of little images and I sized them to like probably one inch at the most. Um... I was thinking about putting these in my shaker. <laughs> so um, I, I put this, I got regular copy paper printed off on my regular printer. And I put the paper between two laminated sheets and I pressed it. So what I'm going to do now is just take the little pieces. And hope for, for the best. So all I'm going to do is continue to cut these out. And I'm going to come back. Okay, guys. So I'm going to use this uh, clear film stuff. Now, a lot of people are using a UV resin. I'm also going to use that also. Which looks like this. I'm going to try and use this anyway. So, hey. Now, I got my two pieces cut out. But I was thinking. You know, they, you can melt stuff like this together. So, I was thinking maybe I should try to melt it together first. And see how they come out. I don't know if it's adding up good. Okay. There you go. Okay. So... Uh, I got my easy press, which Mama Gloria bought me. She loved me, don't she? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but hey, it don't hurt to try. But I'm gonna let this heat up real good. I'm gonna let mini press, and then I'm going to try and melt um, an end together and see where it hold it. And if it do, <laughs> baby, we in the business. So, yeah. I'm just wait on that to heat up. God damn it. I thought my thing was recording. But it wasn't. So, let me explain to y'all what I did. I'm going to have to do it all over. My thing wasn't recording. I don't know what happened. And I got to take all my stuff back out. It half of it won't come out, but anyway, as you can see, I took the two pieces of paper, I used my mini press, I made sure they was lined up right, and all I did was press down on the corners of it all the way around to close it up. 
and then it melts it together. It melts together. And then I left an opening up here at the top if I can slide my stuff in. So that's all I did. I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. See, I wanted me to be great, y'all. Didn't do nothing special. I just put the two pieces together. I had two pieces of that uh, clear film stuff. Put them together. Used my heat press to melt the edges. And then I left an opening. So all I'm doing now is putting my charms in. And then I looked at the camera. The camera wasn't even recording good. I did all that. But anyway, got my little charms. Put my charms in. Oh shit, now we need that mug to be facing forward. It might mess up because, you know, um, it's, um, all, um, got, it's on one side that's dead. So, that's the second part. So, I'm just going to put all my charms in. And we're going to, we're going to wing it because we don't know what this is about to be like. I should have had a double side. So, if somebody, if y'all decide to do something like this, I would say put a picture on both sides. I'm not even going to have paper coming up. I would say I'll put a picture on both sides. Make sure it's dead. Because uh, my laminate made paper look like it's coming up, y'all. Make sure it's pressed good everywhere. And I did probably cut too much off my little images or whatever. I'm doing it, sticking this stuff down in here. And hopefully for the best. Hoping for the best. So I'm gonna go get some glitter and some baby oil. I got some baby oil. I got this from Dollar Tree. I gotta find me some glitter. I got this stuff here. I got this stuff here. I had bought a while back with some nail stuff, I think. I use I use a little of that. We'll pull a little of that in there. Let's see what that turned out like. So, I'm scared, y'all. I've been did all this and it don't turn out around. Be woo. Be nervous hunting. So I'm pour that in there. I ain't gonna do too much, y'all. I don't wanna waste nothing. So this. This is what it's looking like. So, what I'm gonna do now, open my baby oil. It ain't all we open. Mm -mm -mm. So, I don't know y'all. Gonna close it up, just like that. I'm gonna get a napkin and try to wipe that oil out the end. Maybe it'll stay in. I don't know. I don't know where to find out. Pray, pray with me. Pray with me, Hunter. Oh, no. Shit. That was stupid. We got to start a fire. <laughs> so, I would say use a flat iron to close the top. That's what I would say, dude. Use a flat iron or something to close the top before you do the, what I just did with the oil. So now it might not close. It's like it's leaking from the bottom, too. So, I couldn't find my flat iron. But look, I just laid it down and kept pressing. So, I'm going I'm to try that again. And hopefully... It will come together. Oh, shit. Well, that ain't working because my side was still open. God damn it. Fucking up, y'all. So, we need to hurry up and get that UV resin popping. Because I'm trying my best to keep it <laughs> closed, but I'm wasting it everywhere, as you can see. So, we don't know. We don't try, right? So, so far, this is what it's looking like. And I'm going to have to work out some kinks with that part. So, I'm going to have to um, try to get 
try to wipe it down. Make sure it's I got oil everywhere. So get this oil up. How in the hell that melted? Let me sit this somewhere real quick. I just have to keep pressing it some way, somehow. Should have just. I don't know, y'all. Just. Just, I don't know. Feel like I messed up, but hey. I want to try it. I want to know, right? So this is not an effective thing to do. Everywhere. And then my paper is changing colors because of all the oil. But you know the girl gonna still work with it. We're gonna still try. That's all we can do. We done made it this far. We gotta see it through. We gotta go and see it through. Okay. I'm gonna prop y'all up here. You can see a little bit. Okay, we gotta see it through, y'all. We're just gonna wing it. Okay, it's still leaking certain spots, but it is closed in certain spots. So what I'm gonna do now is take my tray, pull the little tape off that I had on there. My hands are oily. Shit, I don't know. It's gonna be a bad idea. Okay. All right. I get as much oil as I can off my hand. Why your girl be so ashy half of the time? Look. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just cut my image in the inside so it'll look a little a little rough. That don't look like it's adding up good. I don't care right now at the moment. Like I said, this was a try run. Just a test run. You can do it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just shit, put it down then. It's stuck now. Leave it with a deal. I'm gonna probably take that outside and spray paint that little end there. But it did what it is. So it's still leaking in some spots. So I gotta figure this shit out. Thing would have been pretty too. Look at that. Damn it. So what I'm gonna do now is use that UV resin and try to close close some of it up. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I don't know if this is gonna work, y'all, so don't quote me on this. Because um it's oil coming out everywhere still in certain spots. So I'm trying to figure out what should I do. What's the best method? I don't want to just put it on my paper, but we're going to have to recut and do it over. This is like pouring out. Okay. All I can do is try. All I can do is try, right? Okay. So, take my UV light. Hopefully, I don't start to find no shit. Okay, so 
So we'll try to Trash. It's trashy looking right now because of everything being built up. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna work. Because my stuff is not laying down like shit. So far, <laughs> looks like this. So I'm still using the UV light to get it like I want it. Hopefully it come out right, but if not, no more mistakes for next time. Right? Right. Okay. Like I said, I know what not to do next time because it got it's like um, wrinkles in it real bad. Then it's got a pile of resin here. But it's a shaker tray. <laughs> and I know I'm supposed to put a thing of resin on it. I don't want to waste my resin because I messed up. 
But just to show y'all to be prepared for next time when I do one because I'm coming for you. I got an idea of what not to do now. So hey, but it still turned out cute though. What you think? It's a lot of flaws from next time. You see my, um, even though I laminated that, the oil is eating through it. Which I think will be fine later on because it will make it like transparent. I don't know. But I'm going to leave it for a couple of days and let you see what it does to it. So. I have to think of something else better to do. But um, I sealed off too much for one because it ain't going all the way over here. Cause <laughs> I sealed it all off with the red uh, UV resin. You know, so I got some stuff that gonna, you know, really shake. So y'all yeah, make sure y'all come in like and subscribe to your girl's channel. And I'll try something different on it next time. Y'all have a blessed one.